So George, you uh, y'all been here for a couple of days, and uh, one MTI I really appreciates y'all's commitment to the institute as well as being a show uh, sponsor and an exhibitor here at the show. But what are you hearing on the show floor is kind of some of the challenges and struggles that heat treaters are here for answers for from your perspective and your world. Interesting question. First, I want to thank MTI, all the members, and the support for putting the show together. Excellent show. We've had a very good opportunity to meet with quite a few existing customers. Mm -hmm. um, rather than go all over the world and make 300 sales calls, which would take us an entire year, we kind of got a nice confined uh, audience here. The questions that we're hearing are, are similar to the things in the past. Mm -hmm. Delivery, mm -hmm. customer service, mm -hmm. repeatability, right. traceability, mm -hmm. all the abilities. Right, so we have right. the ability to serve them. Now, what are some of the trends that you're seeing just in the general marketplace with thermal couples that, that you think are exciting for, for members? If there have been any changes, that's going to help them do that better. I don't know if it's exciting for them, but with the specification changes, the tightening of tolerances, the lack or inability to reuse a lot of things and still conform, uh, it's going to force them to buy more and more often and right. search out for better quality. Now what specifically, connecting those dots of their challenges, struggles, and what's going on in the trend market, what specifically is, is uh, uh, your company doing, Geocorp, doing to help them? What kind of products are y'all developing or, or things that you're seeing change or things you are doing? Well, I think being on the cutting edge of AMS 2750 Revision E, is a key ingredient, understanding the spec, the willingness of our customer service, sales, and engineering staff people to mm -hmm. really help guide that customer or potential customer through the changes mm -hmm. so that even during an audit, if they're involved in an audit, they're able to contact us and we're able to walk them through right. some of their needs. I think that's become a very key ingredient of what our company is doing you know, for its current customers and potential customers. Right, and I've talked to you numerous times, we visited your plant, visited your plant with our teams from Yes and stuff, and I always like to hear your perspective on what do you think is kind of the difference um, for the future for, for heat treaters or suppliers and just those success versus non-success. What do you think it's going to take to be successful and compete in the world of heat treat? How much time do we have? Why do you have to ask me a political question <laughs> like that? I mean, you know, we could stand here for hours. And I'm sure, this. I'm sure. Uh, to give you the short version, I think anybody in business is always going to have certain degrees of challenge. It's how you meet it. Right. The economies are always going to be up or down. It's a cycle. Right. Sometimes politics comes into play and forces cycles in certain directions. Sure. If they're running a good business, they'll be fine. Right. Hey, we, uh, I know I speak for all the members and the board of directors. Mm -hmm. um, say thank you to GeoCorp for all your financial support and continued expertise to help our members be better. And thank you for being a part of this wonderful show. And, and we're looking forward to having you back in 14. And, and really thank you for your time here today. Happy to be here. Appreciate it. Thank you.